President Rodrigo Duterte reiterates that he will sign the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. The Paris deal is the first ever agreement which binds the world's nations to uh, commit to end global warming. The President, however, also reiterates his misgivings on the treaty. He explains that the treaty is binding to all nations but does not impose sanctions. What happens, Mr. Duterte explains, is that when a smaller country like the Philippines violates the treaty, bigger countries like the U.S. will impose sanctions not stated in the treaty, like trade restraints. However, when it is the bigger countries which violate the treaty, smaller countries like the Philippines won't be able to do anything because it lacks worldwide clout. Kung sila ang tigas, tayo mahina, sila ang mag-violate, tapos sabihin natin, oh, wag mong gawin yan. Do not do that. I thought all the while that it is not allowed in this treaty. Bakit? Anong gusto mo? We cannot impose sanctions. We do not have that worldwide influence and clout na para ipresure sila. So yan ang ayaw ko dyan. Now, the president made this statement during the groundbreaking ceremony of the 10.6 megawatt Pulanay hydroelectric power plant here in Valencia City, Bukidnon. Now, during the program, President Duterte also called on members of the New People's Army to lay off from attacking the power plant or any infrastructure for the Filipino people. He said that what the NPA usually does is they burn establishments when it does not pay a revolutionary tax. May style kasi ng NPA. Pag hindi ka magbigay, sunugin. Ay, kinig kayo, ha? Huwag <laughs> ninyong pakialaman yung sa tao. Energy, communications, uh, everything. Lay off. Now, the president also reiterates that he supports the use of coal power plants for the time being because it will help the country survive. The president says as of now, renewable sources are still expensive. Joyce Ila, CNN Philippines.